Right now, we're going to go back to the floor, the virtual floor. Senator Chuck Schumer, the Democratic leader of the Senate. Hi. Hi. This is Senator Chuck Schumer, Democratic leader from my hometown, Brooklyn, New York. Behind me is a sight I see out of my window every night, the Statue of Liberty, the same sight that greeted hopeful immigrants like my grandparents, a symbol of freedom and a beacon of hope to the world. Today, Donald Trump has divided our country, diminished our greatness, and demeaned everything that this statue represents. He even hid in a bunker as Americans were tear gassed and beaten. Millions are jobless. 170,000 Americans have died from COVID. And Donald Trump says it is what it is. President should never say it is what it is. President Lincoln, honoring the great sacrifice at Gettysburg, didn't say it is what it is. President Roosevelt, seeing a third of the nation ill-housed, ill-clad, and ill-nourished, didn't say it is what it is. America, Donald Trump has quit on you. We need a president with dignity, integrity, and the experience to lead us out of this crisis. A man with a steady hand and a big heart who will never, ever quit on America. That man is my friend, Joe Biden. He will be a great president. But if we're going to win this battle for the soul of our nation, Joe can't do it alone. Democrats must take back the Senate. We will stay united from Sanders and Warren to Manchin and Warner. And with our unity, we will bring bold and dramatic change to our country. Let me tell you some of the things we do. With President Biden, Vice President Harris and a Democratic majority, we will make health care affordable for all. We'll undo the vicious inequality of income and wealth that has plagued America for far too long and will take strong, decisive action to combat climate change and save the planet. We will protect voting rights, fight systemic racism in the criminal justice system and in our economy, and restore a Supreme Court that looks out for people, not corporations. We'll rebuild our infrastructure and make sure every home, from inner city to rural America, has broadband. We will save the post office and once and for all defeat COVID-19, this evil disease. And beckoned by the lady behind us, we will reform our immigration system so that immigrants yearning to breathe free will at last become American citizens. Together, we can reignite the hope once felt by millions of men and women, huddled masses on creaking ships, who glimpsed this mighty women, woman with her torch, knowing they could build a better life here in America. And out of this long national nightmare, America will finally awaken to a brighter future and a new day. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.